on IMDb, Parthu3 says Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is horrible. The most horrible movie ever seen by me. The action part might be okay, but the horrible misrepresentation of facts about India is too gross to comment. And this director makes movies on racism with such a racistic attitude to himself. <laughs> when you don't know much about a country, why make such horrible movie about it? Good that it was banned in India. To make it such a movie on a country of a civilization as old as the human race itself is not worth commenting. One star. Racistic. Yeah. Is, is banned in India? I guess so. That rules. There goes one of my trivia questions. <laughs> racistic. Right. That's autistic and racist. <laughs> That's you, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome to the Roy's Review Podcast. I'm Rob. And I'm Andy. And we're back today, continuing Indiana Junes with Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom with comedian Miguel Silva. Miguel, <laughs> how you doing? I'm great, dude. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. No, dude, my pleasure. We're happy to have you. Thanks for being on. Uh, so we're doing Indiana Jones 2 and the Temple of Doom. This is a prequel. Uh, did you guys know this is a prequel the first time you saw it? Uh, I don't remember. I was. Like, I I, was I like just eight. rewatched it and I didn't realize it was supposed to be a prequel. Well, yeah, it apparently takes place before the first one because it says in the year it's like nineteen thirty three or some shit, and the first one takes place in nineteen thirty six. I think this oh, is thirty five. This is okay, like a year before. Yeah. yeah. Well, that yeah. actually really explains like how he lost his connection with you know, Catholicism, and then slowly regained it in the other two. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, maybe Shiva actually fucking... <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> but then he realized, no, Jesus. Uh, so you guys have both seen this before. Yes. Yeah. All right, this was my first time seeing it. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this whole month is movies I've seen for the first time. I've never seen any Indiana Jones films. You've never seen any of them, dude? Wow, no. what a treat. Yeah, well... Well, I guess I, not. I like the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about this movie? Which one do you think is better? First one or oh, this first, one? First I one. mean, I I asked to do this one because it is sick. <laughs> <laughs> this has good stuff in it. The first one's way better. I think what's his name? Um, George Lucas had just made Return of the Jedi, and then he made Temple of Doom. And I think that he had already made that transition into making like weird hokey children movies with like themes that were not for children. Okay. You know? Yeah. And I love that shit. Like episode one is my favorite Star Wars. Um, hmm. That's a previous episode with James Randiolo, by the way. Uh oh, but, sick. Well, I'll check that out. But uh, so really, The Phantom Menace is your favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, well, first of all, I thought I was Anakin. I was like that young at the time. Pod racing is sick. People that don't like it are wrong. Okay, uh, that's the Duel true. Duel of Fates is the best part of. I'm I'm sorry if we, I we don't have to do. No, no, this one is cool. Again, this is cool because we're gonna talk all about Temple of Doom. So this is great. Go ahead. Darth Maul sick <laughs> as hell. Fucking the yeah. The Duel of Fates is the best lightsaber <laughs> battle in all of Star Wars. Uh, you know they cut him in half at the end. It fucking rules. Yeah. No, I I agree that that last part is great. The rest of the movie is uh Yeah, I pod totally racing not, is cool. Not for me. Pod racing I, is cool. Pod ra I totally agree that the pod racing is cool, the music is good, and Darth Maul is awesome. But yeah. everything outside of that is Yeah, well, no. well it sounds like you're pulling straws now. You know, <laughs> the rest of it is like, all right, the Gungans we didn't need them, but I I think I said on our episode that without Jar Jar Binks and the Gungans, this is a really good movie. Yeah, and that's I feel the same way about the Temple of Doom and Indian people. <laughs> oh, oh my god. All right. Uh Miguel, is it cool if we ask you some questions so our listeners get yeah, to know please. you a little bit? Hey, do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. All right. Yo, Miguel, what's your favorite cartoon? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I if I'm just shooting from the hip, Phineas and Ferb. Awesome. Love wow. it. Nice. 
Uh, what would you say your favorite uh, top three bands, musical artists, uh, you know, music? Top oh, three. Man. Top three music. I Top love three, three music. Wow, that's tough. Um, Manchester Orchestra, North Star, and Kanye. Okay. All right. Hey, Miguel. The roids oh. weren't in there, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Miguel, who deserved it? Oh, shit. Um, fuck, I'm trying to think of a... Good lord. <laughs> God damn it. I should have a good answer for this. <laughs> He's disappointed in himself, folks. Um I don't know. Casey Anthony's baby. Okay. okay. You know what's funny? I think I threatened to edit that into an episode once when someone didn't want to answer that question. <laughs> Specifically that? True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Specifically that. I said, I said, all right, I'm just going to edit in you saying Casey Anthony's daughter. No way, dude. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Um, What would you say uh, your favorite movie is? Uh, Gladiator. It's a good movie. I've never seen it. I was going to bullshit and act like I've seen it. Is okay. that for a future episode? It should oh, hell be. yeah. Yeah, you we should be. Dude, Gladiator is a great movie. Everyone it tells is. me that. Part of the reason we do this podcast is because I haven't seen any movies. I would have thought that you were a movie guy. No, not at you all. Don't think. <laughs> and then, and so a lot of this is me shooting from the hip. Basically, like my first instinct, like this sucks. And everyone's like, you're an ass. <laughs> this is, that kind of defines my personality. <laughs> yeah. So much of my childhood revolves around like wishing I was this guy. <laughs> yeah, I j- can't believe you haven't seen Indiana Jones. Have you even noticed how much I try to be him talking to that fucking dumb bitch? <laughs> And notice I, you, ca- you carry around a whip a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I talk I talk to all women like fucking Willie. <laughs> She's Indy! chatting all the time. <laughs> uh, would you rather be a registered sex offender or in prison for the rest of your life? Um, Registered sex offender. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Look, that's starting to really pull ahead. Yeah. Uh, the, the problem is uh, jail is full of rape. And yeah. I get I get that being a sex offender is implied rape. But, like, I don't want to have to get raped. In fact, I'll just be a sex offender. <laughs> if that's I can fair, fuck yeah. a kid. No. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> I'll just ask my next question. Oh my god, yo, my god, there are lights behind you. They're flashing. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, um, what's your favorite video game? Um, (laughs) Andy wants nothing to do with my questions. (laughs) Uh, Red Dead Redemption One. That's good. That's a good game. Yeah, that's good. Uh. I've often said that Red Dead Redemption 1 is a is a better game, but Red Dead Redemption 2 might be the best game I've ever played in my life. Yeah, I I think I mean I, I was so prepared for Red Dead 2. Okay. That I like I had it on pre-order, I got the special edition, I took the day off work so I could play it the day that I it came out. Like I enjoyed it to its absolute fullest, but nothing beats the way that like i was so surprised by red dead one where i just like didn't know what i was coming into and then i just found like the sickest game i'd ever played right yeah yeah we're gonna go to tahiti and we're gonna become mango farmers arthur (laughs) gotta do it every time Uh, (laughs) you're all right boy you're all right (laughs) okay boy Yo, can someone tell me what year this movie came out? 1984, Robbie. Yo, literally 1984. Yeah. Yo, would you say that's a pretty big year for movies? I would for sure say that. Are we, oh, we've already done this year because we had The Terminator. 
Oh, oh shit. Terminator shit. 1? Yeah, that was the first time I saw that, too. That's a 10 out of 10. It's a good one. I mean, Terminator 2 is better, in my opinion, but we don't have to keep doing this. Well, we could talk about it. I mean, we already did this year, so, I mean... Terminator, Terminator, uh, I think Terminator 2 is one of the greatest sequels of all time. I think like, Temple of Doom down. is one of the greatest sequels of all time. Uh, it's a prequel. Technically, all around. Nah. All right, all hey, right, all right. Hey, yo, Andy, I'm not Andy, go outside <laughs> and just feel the grass for a little while. I still, I, I swear, I just found out. I've watched that movie probably, you know, 16 times. Like, I, I used to watch Indiana Jones. We would do marathons of it. Like, it's, I love that shit. Yeah, I, I also love Indiana Jones, but I always thought I like I love all three, but I always thought Temple of Doom was the weakest of the three. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, yeah. it does. Like, I, I mean, is this? Are we gonna talk more about this later? Are we jumping the gun? Yeah, here? yeah, we, yeah, we are. <laughs> I mean, you can go for it. I don't give a fuck. I mean, we did already do this year, right, Robbie? Yeah. I mean, there are movies you like fucking any... Panther Squad. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Star Warm, Star Worms 2, Attack of the Pleasure Pods. Is that a porn? Uh, it sounds pretty good to me. Fingers crossed. It says action sci-fi. <laughs> Suck me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> it's got one star on IMDb. <laughs> That's, you know, you know IMDb, though. They're so critical. Oh, yeah. 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 They're real prudes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can jump right into it because Revenge of the Nerds, Conan the Destroyer, nothing else matters because I haven't heard of it. Uh, Supergirl, Purple Rain, Dune. Purple Rain? All right, well, fuck me yeah. then, right? Beverly Hill, Bever, 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 uh, you know, you know that one? Yeah, very good. Yeah. So, not really a great year for movies. No. Terminator, though. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Gre- Gremlins. Gremlins, that's a big one. All right. Now you're now you're talking about a big year for the black community. <laughs> you what know about Ghostbusters. That's a big one, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's about ghosts that come on people. Yep. Comedies. I don't know what is. I guess Gremlins is a horror movie, but it's like a horror comedy, right? Yeah. yeah I've never horror, seen horror Gremlins. Comedy. I used to think Gremlins and Goonies were the same movie. <laughs> You're kind of, depending plan. on your feelings about children. <laughs> don't, don't feed them after midnight, or they'll bring a, a grown re- home that they found in a cave. <laughs> That's uh, you know, I I saw Goonies like not too long ago, uh, for the first time, and I said this movie actually uh, sucks. This <laughs> fucking trash. What is people... Goonies is Goonies also Steven Spielberg? I think he he's like connected to it, but he didn't direct it. I don't think. I think he like did no. He just he just something. got the kids. He just wrangled the children. Yeah, he just wait. Josh neck. Brolin is in the Goonies. Yeah, uh, Short Round is in the Goonies. Yeah, he is. is I he? guess it's big oh, year shit. for him. Yeah, good for him. Uh, the Goonies was directed by Richard Donner, the same guy who did Superman. Oh right. shit! Yeah, and he's a cannibal, right? right? Yep, very good. Thank you. Very good, Andy. Thank you. It was a screenplay by Chris Columbus after slaughtering oh. all those Taino people. Nah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Honestly, though, if you have the last name Columbus, what do you do in naming your kid Chris? Balling out. <laughs> <laughs> At the time that dude was born, no one's blinking an eye. They're thinking that's the coolest kid in the world there's a line of chris's i bet in that family yeah okay Okay. you think there's you think they're related like the family like the real christopher no like yeah that's his descendants that's christopher columbus the seventh that would be that's a nepo baby (laughs) that's a fucking nepo baby right there yeah didn't he direct like the first two harry potter movies Mm -hmm. too yeah the two bad ones robbie what? I think uh, the, the first one is almost unwatchable as an adult. Really? Yes, the first one sucks. Really, I remember really enjoying the second. And the second like way, book, way more. The second the book. book is bad. Yeah, so. I remember liking the movie True. more than the book. I I remember everyone loving the second movie, and then I read the second book, and I was like, "What the fuck are you guys talking about? This is dumb as shit." The second yeah, book sucks. The movie was good. It's all this buildup for like this 
you know, the time before that, he like did the whole giant chessboard thing. He fought the three headed dog like he went through like some real epic challenges. The Chamber of Secrets was going to be the coolest thing I've ever heard of. And he got into it and it's a fucking snake chicken. (laughs) Under the (laughs) under in the toilets. It's like he goes into the bathroom and it's like, oh, if you go to the wrong stall, there's a fucking a chicken that turns you to stone. Oh, yeah. There's also a really horny girl in the bathroom, by the yeah, way. Dead, a dead horny tight. girl. <laughs> <laughs> I I saw the play of uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. They bring back Moaning Myrtle. And yeah, capital M Moaning. She's the horniest bitch in the play. Nice. Like, oh, yeah, it's very clear the whole time. I was like, yo, she wishes she could get fucked. Well, I'm pretty sure all she does is like look at Harry's dick. Yeah, right? that's, that's it. Yeah. Isn't she like in there like, oh, you know, not as big as I thought, but it's good. It is. Yeah. That's true. Have you seen? I mean, he was nude in that play. Uh Oh, the one with the horse. I yeah. did see it when it happened. That was a while ago, though. You got to be honest. It takes a brave man to stand naked next to a horse. <laughs> Yeah, because you'd get hard if you did, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that you're saying? That'd be solid. I'd be a brick. Well, what if it's a female horse, Robbie? I'm going for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my good lordy Mrs. Lord. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about Temple of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in the Temple of Doom. <laughs> uh the music at the opening is incredibly ominous, and I think Harrison Ford must have insisted on his name coming before the title. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, maybe. He is Harrison Ford. Um, um, but the opening of the first movie is so much better, with the dudes walking through the jungle. Yeah. yeah uh, this, this one is way more James Bond. It is. It's a view to yes. kill. Yeah. And, it's, uh, it's literally a view to shit. kill. Where they have the razor butterflies, it's they're doing the exact same scene. I've never huh. seen the only James Bond movie I've ever seen is Doctor No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and it's for this podcast. Yeah, yeah. It was like a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I didn't watch movies as a kid. That's crazy. You know what movie I watched as a kid on repeat? Clash of the Titans, the nineteen eighty one version. Oh. Uh. I guess, yeah, you would have to be for to be you were a kid. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I saw the remake. I fucking hated it. It sucks. The remake yeah, fucking sucks. so dick. bad. Yeah. The original is hot fire because it's all claymation. It is good. All right. It's that like does stop sound motion. And clay, it's real. It's good shit. No, don't come over here. Who is my, it? My dog wants to hang out. That's cool. Doggies are allowed. No, he's trying to get, I have a thing of fries over here and he's going to like knock over my equipment to get over to them. Oh, hi, cutie. They can't, the dog can't hear us just because. If you want, I'll put the headphones on him. He hates when I do that. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't want to torture the doggy. Uh, Is is your, is your dog a male or female? Uh, He's a boy. Boy. Ah. It was his birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Name? Zeke. Zeke. Happy birthday, Zeke. You hear that? They said happy birthday. That doesn't mean you get more fries. You had enough <laughs> snacks yesterday. You've been going diarrhea all day. <laughs> Real quick. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to send us some feedback, send us an email at roidsreview at gmail.com. That's R-O-Y-D-S-R-E-V-U-E at gmail.com. You could also find our music on Spotify iTunes, wherever you get your music by searching The Roids. That's R-O-Y-D-S. We have two albums and a Christmas song. Hope you like it. So Indiana Jones cut off this dude's son's hand. Indiana, uh, he seems a little more like ruthless in this one than he, than he is in the other one, the first one. You know? Who's, wait, whose hand did he cut off? He at the opening scene, he's talking to the dude and he's like, Oh, you cut off my son's hand. And he's like, I fucking did. You're absolutely right. I forgot why. I do it again. Oh, because the guy, the guy was trying to steal from him. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, I have it already. You send your guy to come steal it from me. Yeah. And he's yeah, like, I take that him. as an insult. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. I was still thinking about the scene where like the white women were singing in Chinese and then they did like a whole dance number that anything goes. Yeah.
That was do nuts. Goes in Chinese. Yeah, it, it makes was, no sense. I forgot about that. I didn't remember that being a thing. But like the whole dance, like I don't know. It's, oh, the whole movie, like I, I can't imagine why it was in the setting that it was in. Like I, I, what, what was going on in the like script writing process? I love it though. <laughs> it, is, it is. very I don't strange. understand a thing, but it's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> it is a very strange movie. Especially the after fact- the, the first one. The first one's so, like, it just seems way more, like, planned out. This one seems very, uh, why don't we just do this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this does feel like a first draft that never got changed. Yeah. Like, it really does feel like no one stepped in and was like, are we sure this is how we want to do the Indian people? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, to start off with the Chinese people. And yeah. then short round, right. who's a Japanese child whose parents died during the bombing of Shanghai and yes. then like was raised in China. <laughs> like, so presumably? it just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it was all like so weird. OK, I need to ask this. Is he in the next movie short round? No, nope. no, never see him again. So. We have to. He's dead by the by movie one. <laughs> well, if it's a prequel, then yeah, he's dead. Yeah. He, he died. He died on one of these fucking adventures. Which is weird because he had the first Chinese guy die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In the opening credit, in the opening scenes, not a guy we know, but a guy that no. he has like this long term yeah. connection with. Apparently, yeah, he, he, apparently, he, Indiana Jones has like mad connections in yeah. China. Yeah. Someone's <laughs> just like, that's not a waiter. <laughs> yeah, he dies in Indy's arms, and he's like. It was a pleasure serving you. Because it, yeah. it is China, right? Like, they're singing in Mandarin. They're in Shanghai. Which is... Yes. In... Yes, China, <laughs> yes. <laughs> For a second, you threw me off. But yeah. I, I, you know, it's funny. I was looking at both of you. I was like, okay, yes, yes. Shanghai is in China. Yeah. But he does He does clarify later that Short Round is Japanese. Yes. Yeah. But he's boys with him from China. He was trying to pickpocket. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was trying to pickpocket him, a, and, he, and he took him under his wing. I guess. I, I think Indiana Jones. And then he got rid of him. Yeah, like Indiana Jones uses Asian kids like Batman uses Robins. <laughs> right. <laughs> he like he like just collects them, and then when they die, he's like, I'll just get a new one. <laughs> You're making a good case for every Robin being a Chinese boy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time one of his partners dies, he goes, ah, oh, fuck, back to China. Right. <laughs> I'm going to get in the bat plane. <laughs> he, uses, he uses that same thing in the Dark Knight where he has, like, the parachute balloon thing that gets yeah. swept up. By... He just, like, goes up to kids and he's like, ah, I gotcha. <laughs> it's swept away by a jet. <laughs> uh, the dude gives up the diamond pretty fucking easily. And then he's like, all right, you know, no, give it back, actually. You're poisoned. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't follow that either of the times. Does he end up getting the diamond before he leaves? I don't think so. Or he's just like, "Hi, you didn't kill me. That's you did basically get it. you did get the diamond and the ashes and my, you know everything else that you wanted. We kind of shot up your club. You did that, but I'm still alive, idiot. Yeah, we completed yeah, the deal. You won. Think- you won. Actually, technically, yeah. <laughs> you got all your money back. You got your diamond back. That diamond would have had to have been worth like billions of dollars. I mean, that's in line with the first movie because Indy loses in the first movie and just gets lucky that they don't know what yeah. they're dealing with. Yeah, and they just open up the arc. Yeah. And he, he doesn't, I don't think he gets anything at the end of this one either. No. He, yeah, he, he does he gets that pussy. weird rock back. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. Yeah, we don't. It's all implied. It's always like, yeah, they, yeah, they kiss, and then all the kids run up and start poking them, and it's like, oh yeah, like, oh, oh, uh, I guess we'll never get a minute to actually have sex because every time we do, (laughs) an Indian dude shows up in my room. That's all I need. Very good, Andy. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, she sucks in this movie, right? Oh, (laughs) oh yeah, she's the worst part. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Well, first of all, I, I hate women. (laughs) Okay, good, very good. (laughs) Hey, you know what? We're going to establish that baseline right here. I see a movie like this and it's like this dumb bitch the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, anytime you bring a bitch along on an adventure for the boys. Yo, that's my favorite part about Short Round is he's constantly being like, you call him Dr. Jones. <laughs> and, like throughout the movie. Too, the whole like, time. 
Yeah, they're like they they're saving each other from dying, and he's still like, "You you better be lucky if he fuck you, slut." <laughs> <laughs> And and there is a weird kind of like sort of sexual understanding where sure around like he the first thing is there in the back of the his car. Yeah, he's driving yeah. them away and then he's reaching in her shirt for the antidote and short round goes into the mirror. He goes, hey, there's no time for love. Yeah. We yeah. have company. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I which love means, short round. Which means how many times has short round been the chauffeur for Indiana Jones fucking a bitch in the back of the car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's like a regular thing. Hey, uh, short, short round, why short don't you round. just drive around for a few minutes? It's time for love. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is a shame. This kid's fucking dead. Yeah, it's too bad. He, he is the best. Yeah, that's, he's great. That, yeah. Short round is why I wanted to do this one. I, I, that was the first time I like noticed, you know, racist Chinese characters being <laughs> like a funny sidekick. Yeah. That's, that's a, a movie trope. Like you got Kato. Absolutely. You know, you, yeah. I mean, there's, there's multiple instances of like the goofy Chinese sidekick and yeah. short round is the pinnacle. He's so good. <laughs> He's, He's the great. perfect love, comic relief. Him. He's like the perfect. He's cool. I, I used to. He actually was, helps out. When when I was uh, young, uh, I think in middle school, um, my little sister used to play like travel soccer. And on her soccer team, there's this kid or there's a, like a, an Asian girl who had a little brother that I would hang out with, even though he was like much younger than me. And one time we were watching Temple of Doom because his parents had just introduced him to Indiana Jones. And he was like, yo, that's like me. I'm short round. You're indie." And I was like, bro, hell yeah. And he would just, he would just shout short round quotes at me. Oh, my like, God. He'd be like, oh, Dr. Jones. He, he spoke. He didn't have an accent at all. He had like perfect English, but he was like fully into being the like Chinese, the, <laughs> the confusingly Japanese Chinese character. Oh man, that's almost sad. It was awesome. <laughs> he was right though. He's a cool character. He is a sick character. Oh yeah. yeah. Like like he he's helpful. Like he actually saves Indiana Jones multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. he calls out his bitch for being dumb. Throughout the yeah. movie, it's amazing. So it it's so good. Um, what the fuck is Dan Aykroyd doing here? Oh yeah, he is in there for a little bit. He's the British guy at the beginning. He's like, come yeah. on, Indy, let's get He's, on the plane. Oh, fuck. That's yeah. fucking Dan Aykroyd for yeah. no fucking reason. Which, speaking of which, did he get killed? That's the guy who's like checking on the Indians, right? Or you're talking about a different one? No, nah, he gets on the plane uh, like when Indy and Short Round escape. He gets on the plane and then they close the door of the plane and, yeah. it, and it's the bad guy's name. And he's like, ha, they're going to die. I'm going to kill them. And then they get on the plane and the, the pilots jump off the plane and take right. the parachutes. So Dan Aykroyd got on the plane with him or no. he was the one that gave got them the plane. He was yeah, the one explaining, oh, we this is the only one we could find. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I, I did not notice. Yeah. I also love the little mischievous. <laughs> the yeah. Asian guys do as yeah. they dump the fuel out. It's like, OK. Which I looked up, by the way, because I was like, there's no way you could just dump fuel. There's no lever that says dump fuel. That's yeah. idiotic. <laughs> I looked it up. There is. <laughs> That's a thing on every airplane. There's a switch to dump fuel in case you have to, like, turn around and go back to an airport on a short landing. Apparently, if you land with too much fuel, you could blow up. What? Oh. So sometimes you have to dump fuel and then come back down. Yeah, I was, looked it up. I didn't read any of them, but there's articles like, what happens to the fuel that gets dumped? Yeah. Like, does it cause fires? <laughs> yeah, for real. Hey, yeah. Let's let's talk to the ocean, see how they feel about that. <laughs> I didn't find out the answer. I didn't. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. There's got to be a better way. The, the raft out of the plane. Uh, you'd still be dead, right? Oh, yeah. You're dead. D-E-D. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're like liquid. Right. You just hit the floor. You just fucking puddle. If if a plane skipped off of a mountaintop during <laughs> flight. Like it does. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Before they jump out. <laughs> yeah. 
they would have been dead. They would have been dead. I mean, that plane okay. is immediately flipped over the way it hits that top. Like the way it that, skids it. It's almost like that opening scene is like such a fever dream that it's trying to set the stage. You know, the whole the whole like can can scene where they like go back into the thing. And then it's mm-hmm. like there's a whole. I, I don't know what that is like. They leave reality and then do like a whole can can opening. And then she comes back out to where everybody is. I like the. I yeah, like where was that? It was almost yeah. setting the stage for like, hey, this is just a fucking nightmare fever dream. Like none of this is going to make any sense. Just well, the band yeah. starts playing while they're in the fist fight. Yeah, <laughs> like they're like fighting. And all of a sudden, like, <laughs> let's go, boys. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing here? Yeah, uh, it's all it. You know, it's a nonstop rip roaring good time. <laughs> it really uh, is. I, I mean, Ark uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is like grounded in reality until like the very end where it's like oh this spooky thing is real and right, it kills once they all the open nazis. the thing and it melts yeah all yeah. the nazis and then this one's just like nah we're bonkers from the start yeah man it doesn't <laughs> none of it matters yeah indian jones gets poisoned multiple times yeah. yes yeah dude's, dude's gotta have some crazy diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're telling me he's eating indian food <laughs> oh <laughs> Wait, how, what, a, okay, what a, you already know she's the unlikable, which is like, I'm not eating this. It's like, what are you doing? What are you fucking doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, when it's that. a poor people food and then they do the scene in the like palace and that's, yes. that's the scene that I think Indian people are upset about. I don't blame them. Yeah. That, yeah, that was the one where I was like, <laughs> this is pretty much. bad. I guess this is yeah. what liberals are mad about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, monkey yeah. brains and shit. When like, I was watching the, it, I the snake surprise. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too much, too much. Like, I was like, I was like, all right, you know what? Some people have a point. There's a point here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's specifically here. It's <laughs> specifically uh, here. I like, I like how like once they they go down, like they they live with the raft, and yeah. they they float down a river, and they just see this ominous old Indian man, and. uh I like how just because he's Indian, we're supposed to think he's evil at first. Well, he's just like standing there staring and they just follow him to his village. And they feed they feed Indy and his friends. And then they're like, you were sent here to help us. And then he's like, no, 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 we weren't. And then the guy just doubles down. He's like, yeah, you were sent here to help us. And he's just like, shit. All right. Yeah. He's like, yeah, Shiva, we prayed to Shiva and you fell from the sky. And he's like, right. Actually, that does yeah. make sense. <laughs> I did fall from the sky. That Shit. Does check me. Out. <laughs> Shit. Every movie. Yeah, you're right. He just changes religions. Yeah. yeah. What's he? Oh, he's going to be a Scientologist in Dial of Destiny. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Willie, Willie is annoying, right? Yeah. We've established yeah. that. Yeah, she just but, screams. There's a scene with all, the first scene with all the animals. She's just screaming. Yeah, that part kind of got me though. I was like, "This is funny," because like li- at literally oh, with every the bat. Turn, yeah, there's a yeah. bat. There's a there's a snake. There's like a fucking toucan. I don't know, fucking bunch of yeah, bunch yeah. of crazy <laughs> shit. And like at every turn and and short round and end, you're just eating. Just like, yeah, man. No. ladies, am I right? And yeah. they're pl- that's when they're playing cards and they catch each other cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a great but, scene. Yeah, that's oh, a lot she, of fun. Honestly, she, the movie gets good, un- or the movie is great until like the guy gets his heart ripped out, and then all of the action. It, that's that's one of the weird things about this movie. It's like normally like you're bored through the exposition and then it, you know, you get to the climax and then it's like all entertainment. But yeah. like this is like it's so entertaining up until the climax that it's like I'm bored watching the rest of it. Like all of the fight scenes, all of the action, like kind of was monotonous to me. I well, think the cart uh... scene goes on way too long. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. they were setting up for like a Disney ride or something. You know? Exactly. Yeah. That's that's my note is that they're on an amusement park ride. Yeah. 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 They were working on something specific. That was when George Lucas was fully in his like uh, merchandising phase. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like the the first one, 
it's kind of uh, like a nonstop. Like every other scene is a like an action set piece. This one, it's like the first thing's action set piece, and then it's exposition, and then they travel, and then they eat monkey brains, and then and I'm, then I'm sorry again, frozen monkey brains. Okay, and it's then dessert. They go into a temple, and then there's yada yada yada. So like this one, it's kind of like back like the back end is loaded with like constant action and some of it's good some of it's not whereas the the first one is like way better paced and the, yeah. all the action's good but uh but what i was saying about willie though like she's annoying but this actress is just like tossing snakes and elephants I, I I can't fucking do that. I would I'd be like a snake. I I'm not tossing it for the sake of this shitty joke. And then in your movie, I'm not gonna throw a fucking python. Fuck you, Stephen. She like pours things on an elephant. It's like oh, good luck with that. Yeah, it would be yo. Imagine if they had like an elephant that they're like, yeah, it's trained. You just it'll know you're acting and you can do this. And it just like rampages. It just gets pissed <laughs> off and starts you slamming you on the ground, and <laughs> stomping everyone. Terrorizing the small Indian village you're in. <laughs> it just, just <laughs> destroys it. Just right through it. That would yeah, be that, sick. That, that feast, that's where, that's where COVID came from. <laughs> yeah, probably. The snake surprise. <laughs> the eyeball soup. Yeah. yeah. The bat eyeball soup. <laughs> <laughs> but they just included incompetent people with Indiana Jones like, to like, make him look better. Because in the first movie, Karen Allen, like Marion is good. She's competent. But yeah. here, Willie is just a fucking dope. No, like she's just an ass. Right ass. after they escape yeah. the spikes, she knocks him. She's like, all right. And oh, oh, her ass hit it. Yeah. Her uh, she's such a stupid idiot that her fat ass hit the fucking spikes down <laughs> again. Yeah. Well, the scene before that, the scene before that where they're talking about like science, but like they're really talking about fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Where he's like, "Oh, study your nocturnal habits." Yeah, yeah that I like. <laughs> I thought that was funny, and then like, she's like, "You'll be back in five minutes," and he's like, "You'll be back in five minutes," and then like he, there's a murder attempt on him. Yeah, yeah. That's I thought good, all that was funny. I, yeah, I that's good sitcom. That. Yeah, that yeah. was. That, that's what I'm saying. All of the beginning is like great. Yeah, short yeah. round, and, awesome. And yeah, I have all known. of. All of the Chinese people, a lot of fun. Yeah, that I, I like. I mean, it's just Bond, and it's good. Club Club Obi One. Ah, another fucking trivia question. All right, God damn. I gotta oh, be totally God. honest. I'm going all along with this just because we're all good vibes. I didn't really enjoy this movie. No, <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't think it you was didn't, very. Good. You didn't like the beginning? No, not really. You weren't enjoying yourself. Did you actually? Okay, let's see. Did you at least enjoy the, watching the guy get his heart ripped out and then yes, they load him yes, into the thing? Yes, yes, that was fucking sick. Fire? That's, yeah, that's the Anytime good. you rip out a guy's heart, it's fucking sick. I mean, that is the iconic. Like everybody, yeah. like I mean, that's been parodied a, a million times. The Kalimal. Well, yeah, the, it's, the the bridge scene is fucking great. At the end, yeah, when he's in the middle. And he's surrounded on both sides. And he's like, guys, brace yourselves. And they're like, Jesus fucking Christ, he's going to cut the bridge. Oh, my fucking God. And then he cuts the bridge. Yeah. It's fucking great. See, my note at that point is end the movie. Yeah. Well, they do very soon after. <laughs> yeah. I don't well, know. It, it didn't seem like it felt like they were trying too hard to come up with a good death for the bad guy where it it. I don't know. I, I felt like they'd run out of ideas and they were just like, I don't know. It's just they're on a fucking. You have a fire deep. pit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. a pit to hell. Throw him into the pit to hell. That's a pretty good death. Yeah, he should have died in the pit to hell, but he died by alligators. Yeah. I don't know. It did. It did to me feel like by the end of the movie, it really did trickle to a point where it's just like, all right, just fucking die. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. I just really like him being surrounded. He's like, well, I am a crazy asshole. So and he like wraps his leg around the, the bridge and short round is like, oh, he's doing it. And Hold she's on, like, lady. We're going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, she's like, he's he's fucking crazy. Fuck. 
They jump out of a plane on a raft. Yeah, yeah like they, we're past crazy. Ladies. They're invincible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ain't dying. They cannot die. You yeah. understand plot armor because you guys started off with like pure invincibility from yeah. <laughs> the first fifteen minutes of the movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, my note for that scene I was talking about before is they're not talking about science at all. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, I mean the scene, the scene where they're gonna pipe very tight. <laughs> that's good stuff get me hard yeah. get me excited and then he's like looking for the killer he's like trying to find out what's going on in the rooms and, and she's, she's like, like be gentle with me yeah, be yeah gentle. That was... Like, it was like oh she's about to get destroyed yeah be she's hoping girl. to get fucking railed oh, yeah, out yeah yeah. She's, yeah yeah and he was he was he was ready i think yeah. he would have Oh, yeah. Well, at one point she says, I could have been your greatest adventure. And if you're saying shit like that, your pussy Weird. better be bananas. <laughs> yeah, we just jumped out of a plane, lady. Like, like, yeah. like, Come that, on. like, it better be fucking ridiculous what you're willing to do. Yeah. A2M. <laughs> at but the very my, least. My ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are eating ass, Willie. <laughs> Well, that's uh, after eating Indian food, so. Oh, shit. That's two Indian food jokes, baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, he fucking rips the still beating heart out of that dude and it bursts into flames. That's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah that's obviously really Obviously cool. one of the sickest scenes of all time. And yeah. the dude starts scatting. He's like, I skip it. 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 That's jazz, baby. Yeah, that's during the thuggy ceremony. And a thuggy ceremony is what Ron DeSantis calls a black graduation party. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I've uh I I never really thought about it before, but I don't understand why the guy's chest heals after he gets his heart ripped Same. out. Same. I was always confused by that. Especially because they, they lower him to hell afterwards. And then do you think they matter. even say, like Indy says, he's like, he's still alive. It's like they they make it a point to let you yeah. know. Do you think very, very strange? They filmed the scene where they lowered him into the fire before they filmed the heart ripping out scene. And then someone's like, Hey, wouldn't he have a big hole in his chest? And they're like, ah, uh, no, the uh, hole it's magic. Yeah, it's we'll magic. do, we'll fix it in post. Yeah. The hole heals. <laughs> Yeah. It just heals. It just heals, and they it don't. Knows. They don't address it. No, it they just don't. Heals. It just, and they it, they close up on it, and it goes back together. Yeah. And then, like, it's why does that cool. mean he he would have just been walking around with just no heart if he escapes that situation? Uh, I mean, do we really understand the reason why they're sending that guy to hell? Sacrifice. Yeah. Right, but like sacrifice. for what? Because like, because sacrifice. They're they're already like. When you Andy, the- it's brown people in the 80s. Sacrifice. <laughs> Human sacrifice. <laughs> right, but the, You're lucky but like, they didn't get eaten. But the goal of the bad guy is like you drink the blood, right? And then you become like a mindless zombie and you you dig, you work for him, you become a slave and you try to find the other stones. Why are you sacrificing? I don't know. They didn't explain why. I mean, this dude's just hell bent on wiping out other religions because when he makes Indy drink the fucking blood, he's like, First, uh, the British, then the Jews, then the Christians. Did he say that? Yeah. I don't remember that. I feel like I would have heard that and got stoked. No, okay. He says Hebrews, I think. But he, like, when he makes Indy drink the blood. Oh, so he means black people. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, he holds the guy's mouth shut and he's like, first, the British, for being mean to us, will die. Right. And then uh, maybe he says the Muslims too, and then the Hebrews, and then the Christian mm, gods. No, Muslims, oh. Muslims didn't exist in popular culture until That's... you know <laughs> the late '90s, at least. <laughs> until all of a sudden, there was a big rise in Muslim villains in the early 2000s. <laughs> in unpredictable <laughs> spike. In I have Muslim no <laughs> idea why. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what inspired the show Twenty Four. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great show. My dad seen... watched that religiously. Yeah? Yeah. I've never Sick. watched it. I know Kiefer it good Sutherland show. became Snake in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Oh, yeah? And speaking of which, I think Harrison Ford would have made a great Snake had he been, you know, like 30 years younger. 
Well, yeah, that's a problem, right. though. You wish yeah. you could see Harrison Ford's snake. I do. <laughs> Harrison Ford's a good-looking dude in this movie. Yo, how jacked is he? I didn't remember that. He's fucking yeah. yoked. Dude's, yeah, yeah. Dude's fucking swollen. He's looking fucking good. He yeah. still looks good. He does he look good. No, meat. he doesn't, dude. He looks like absolute dog shit now. Does he? Well, he's 80. Oh, yeah. He, looks, he, pretty good he looks really... I don't think he even does. I think he looks really bad. Really? Yeah. Right. Now I gotta re... Now, maybe I'm just thinking that he looks good. I feel like every time I see him, I'm shocked by how mu- how old he looks. He's Fucking old. Bruce he's Willis fuck. is mentally decaying and doesn't look that bad. Let's go see he's also 12 years younger. Is he? Yeah. yeah he's, he's way younger. Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought that they were the exact same age. Harrison no. Ford's <laughs> 80 years old. I think he looks good for 80. Well, yeah, he's I don't. still running around. I'll be honest. I don't think I'm going to live to 80. So like. Oh, yeah. The fact unless, that he's, unless medicine changes quickly, I might not live past the next couple of years. <laughs> Yo, hashtag relatable, as the kids say. <laughs> well, Robbie, not if I have anything to do with it. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to make sure of it. Medicine better get really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the bullet vaccine? <laughs> so uh, the cave stuff was cool with the carts. It, it goes on a little too long. I, I feel uh, like it was cool when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, the way it's filmed is really cool. Like and now a lot of this. And again, I'll remind you, pod racing to me, very sick. It is. So whatever it is that George Lucas is doing there and, and Steven Spielberg, like they're they're creating a ride that you don't have to be on. You know, yeah, but like the it's it's very like visceral, like in in speed and all that. And like I was very impressed. A lot of this movie, I was like, how did they fucking film that in the eighties? But like the scene after the the um the carts when the water, uh, like all the big water, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, they go the outside the cliff and they're hanging onto the cliff and the cliff is exploding with water. And they have to keep moving. I was like, how the fuck did they film that? Like, that is really cool. I thought that was one of the best scenes in the movie. And it's like 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we right. did. Because I just got nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I actually, I'm, cool. I specifically, that's, I think, around when I started to get bored. Yeah, same. Oh, times right, I watch right. it. Like, like, I'm saying, like, I watched the first hour of the movie being like, this is actually even better than I remember. And then, like, it got through the heart ripping out scene, and I was like, "Whoa, this needs to end." Yeah, yeah. it's still going. Once yeah. he doesn't throw him into the pit to hell, I was like, "What are we doing?" The the yeah. the voodoo scene kind of cool, where the kid yeah. is like stabbing yeah. him yeah. with the thing. I I I was bored of how long it took him to fight that big strong guy. Yeah, and we yeah. already did a big strong guy in the last one with the plane. Yeah. You know, like he fights that one big brawler dude, and then he—he, yeah. he, I mean, that's a great scene. You can't. How many top more? That. How many more of these are we gonna do? Where it's like, oh, he's almost. Uh, uh, yeah, he got him. Like <laughs> it, it just goes on too long, and then uh, short rounds doing the same thing. Like he's fighting the kid who's doing yeah. the voodoo thing. Yeah, and then he Although punches the get... kid hard enough that the kid's like, "Okay, you win." And he he Go burns him with the, the he burns him with the fire. Just like he saved. Him. Oh, so the kid yeah. is uh, drank the blood is what we're supposed to glean from right. that. Uh, yeah. 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 So all apparently right. all you got to do is like burn somebody. A nice little burn that. Burn that doesn't even leave a burn. Yeah. yeah. Just like put fire close to them. Well, yeah, I did get a laugh when Indy goes, stop playing with that kid. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, know, I, uh, be, I think it's because we just watched um, everything everywhere all at once with uh Short round. I forget the actor's name. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce it again. I've watched it that entire episode. But uh, he, in this movie, he's like, when he's trying to save Indy, he's like, Indy, Indy, I love you. You're my best friend. Yes. Like, like, there was a part of it. I was like, ooh, my heart. (laughs) This dude gets me every time. Fuck. (laughs) You know, Andy, I'm going to tell you the truth. There's a part in that Everything Everywhere All at Once episode where you called him shortstop that I edited it out. (laughs) <laughs> I called him shortstop. That's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, you should have left it in. I, I cut it out 
because Laura almost peed herself laughing because neither of us acknowledged it. Because I think I don't know if I heard you say it or if I was like, why the fuck did Andy just say shortstop? But you sure you, you straight up like we're talking about like, yeah, he was in Temple of Doom. Went, yeah, shortstop. And then <laughs> we just kept going and I just edited it out because neither of us acknowledged it. And I was like, All right, that's got to go. Well, well, I mean, short round, this is, again, his only appearance. Same yeah. with Willie. It's almost like this never actually happened. Well, the third one just moves on from the first one. When Willie says no more adventures with you, Dr. Jones, it's like, good. Yeah, nobody likes you. That's a good thing. Yeah. You were you were a wildly obnoxious bitch. <laughs> you like, were actually a pain. You were you were a detriment to this adventure. You almost killed us in that scene where we just redid Star Wars, you know, where they <laughs> yes. they almost yeah, got crushed the by the room. Yeah. Like yeah. she saves them and then almost kills them immediately after. That was another one. It just it like they dragged that on for way too, too long. long. Yeah. yeah, too long. Way too long. They need I get it. I get it. She's grossed out by the bugs. Yes. Yeah. Like, come on. Go. They should be dead by now. At this point, they they better get squished for how yeah. much I've had to listen to this girl deal with these bugs. It's, yeah. At that point, it's like, OK, it's just bugs. They're about to get killed. Just reach through the fucking bugs, lady. I mean, yeah. And that that's something that this movie uh, like the first movie had comedy, but the comedy was like good and natural. Like I said, I remember talking about it on the last one, like Harrison Ford's got a great. Like. When that when the oh. big brawler dude on the plane, he's he like taps him on the shoulder. He's like, put him up. And like Harrison Ford is just like, oh, fucking Jesus Christ. All right. And like he oh, gets there's... off the plane slowly in this one. It's all like slapstick, like three stooges type stuff. And I love that shit, but. Not in Indiana Jones, you know, I don't know. It's just like. He he at one point, I think it was. Oh. When when the guys jump off the plane and she goes to him, she's like, you know how to fly a plane, right? And he his reaction this is the worst delivery I've ever seen by Harrison Ford. I swear he it like took me out of it both times I watched it. He he goes like, no, do you? And it's like, dude, what movie do you think you're making? Like, who is this character that you're suddenly doing? I've never seen him do that. It sucked. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Harrison Ford. What are you doing? <laughs> also, he does a callback to a thing that he didn't do yet because this is a prequel. So, like the oh, guy, when, the guys with the swords show up, and he goes, yeah, for his and gun. he goes for his gun. Yeah, oh, like, shit, that's a callback to that. a thing you didn't do yet, you son of a bitch. Unless well, this is something he does all the time. It's got to be now, probably. He knew to have his gun the next time. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. true. I mean, the only competent thing Willie seems to do is save short round from falling. And we don't even see it because he falls and then it cuts and then he's fine. Yeah. Uh, when he's fighting the big dude and short rounds helping out, like she hands him something. She's like, here, use this. And yeah. he cracks the guy over the head with it. And the guy's like, I don't care. I'm a big I'm a big, scary guy. To and, be fair, uh, she is hot. Good point. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Like I get where. You know, Indiana Jones is coming from. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I totally get it, and that's why I, Andy I don't, will I go don't... on Reddit and Kate Capshaw NSFW. <laughs> is there? Does she do nudes? I have no idea. I hmm. want. I think every actress from the one 80s of you guys has looked it up already. I'm, one I'm of you doing knows it. if she has a nude scene where her titties are out. I'm doing it right now. She. I'm doing right. it legitimately right now. It's like, yeah, oh, fuck it. She's she's attractive. She is hot. And that's the thing. I don't I don't need to like or respect a woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny like watching this and being like, I don't know. It's like kind of like going back and like listening to Taking Back Sunday and brand new and being like, whoa, how many of my opinions on women were formed by like a weird you know, misogynist that made like really sick shit when I was a child. <laughs> you know, that's a very yeah. good point. Yeah. You ever listen to pop punk and you you're like, no, wait a second. Well, do my, I, my do my I hate is... women or do I hate a girlfriend <laughs> that like a guy who wrote a song that I enjoyed might have had that I think that he broke up with and then right. 
was angry at her. Well, my my wife is a big brand new fan, and whenever she plays, I like the the latest album they had. Yeah, uh, I'm like the only person who's like science that's fiction. Best. Science, yeah. What's it called? Like that science fiction. Yeah, yeah like, that's that the best album. work. But uh, my wife will play the old stuff, and it's always just him wishing like a really specific horrible. And death even if someone. her plane crashes tonight, she'll find some way to disappoint me by yeah, not like, burning in the wreckage or drowning <laughs> at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, it's always like really specific and horrible. It's like, all right, man, what does she do? Or are you just an asshole? You no. Know, like, and if you listen to it close enough, what it seems like is he broke up with her. And then wrote a song about her being like, oh, if it makes you feel better, I'll I'll leave you alone. Yeah, like he's like, the wait hero. A second. Yeah. Is all my music <laughs> yeah. that I loved when I was a child written by psychopaths? Like <laughs> I don't probably I don't, are women even are are women even that bad? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't listen to pop punk because I'm attracted to adults. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah, but you like dumb. Weezer though, Robbie. That's fair. And so do I. Uh oh. Yeah. We- yeah, Weezer's on. Woody Allen rock. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally uh, all Pinkerton is, is. I'm attracted to Asian teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. It's my favorite album though. Fuck. No, I mean, and I, we, we, we are, like I said, pop punk, but we're all just talking about emo music, which is music about hot teenage girls. Yeah. I mean, to be I mean, fair, that, I never, I never got into emo. All music no? from the from the two thousands was just about hot women. Yeah, yeah. And then you listened to it because girls liked it, and so you thought that if you I liked didn't. the same music as them, oh, right, I was whatever, a loser guys. in school because I listened to old music. Nobody liked me. same, same. Robbie and I were in the same boat. Yeah. Not me, dude. I was listening to Fall Out Boy, being like, "This makes me cool, right?" And they're like, "No, that makes you gay." I'm just like, "How does your brain work?" <laughs> <laughs> we listen to Fall Out Boy. Right. And it's like, I'm listening to it, and it's like, all right, it's music about how girls are stupid. That makes sense to me. And it's like, no, 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 that's it. our music. And actually, if you listen to it, you're a pussy. It's like, I don't know what you want. <laughs> it's kind of like, that's our word. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you guys have anything else to say about Temple of Doom? Uh, I'm always down for a gator eating some dudes. Yeah, it was true. It's cool. Um, I I think that we should have more movies about like othering different <laughs> cultures. <laughs> so you mean all of movie history? <laughs> you need more. All the best ones, you know. You're saying oh. make movies great again? Is what you're saying? <laughs> what what's what's the last great movie you saw? Uh, uh, honestly, Guardians of the Galaxy three. I, I I don't think I've seen it yet. Is that the one that's in theaters? Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed seen it. it. It's very good. I I'm sure it's good. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy one was great. You guys have convinced me that I need to go back and rewatch Guardians of the Galaxy two. Yeah, it's good. It's a little less good, but it's good. Yeah. Um, mm, it's not just a little less good. I think, but I'll I'll check. All right, I'll check it out. I'll let you know. I'll report back. I do have a question for you guys before we do our question segment because I'm a little confused by something. Okay. For some reason, my last note is just the number 13. Is there a reason for that or was I losing it? I just figured it's because you're stupid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because it's legitimately, it's no more adventures with you, Dr. Jones, Willie, parentheses, thank God, and then just the number 13. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the entire rest of that movie is she goes to walk away. She tries to grab that random Indian dude to be like, I need a guide. And then he whips her and pulls her yep. in and kisses her. And then uh, short round makes the elephant splash water on them so that they don't have sex in public in front of all of those Indian children. Yeah. And then he and covers laugh, his eyes and they kiss each other anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the Indian children run up and start poking them. And that's the end of the movie, I think. Okay, so there's no reason for me to have the number 13 written on my notes. All right. Cool. I don't think so, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I have I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to dip into my schizophrenia as much as possible to <laughs> imagine what you're talking about. And I'm struggling. All right. Uh, I have like three questions. 
Um, I got I got a couple. Miguel, you got any questions about this movie? No. Okay. So I, it all makes exact sense to me. <laughs> that's good because I there's some things that didn't make sense to me. Eddie, how many did you say you had? Actually, I have one. Oh, you're a pussy ass bitch. All right, I'll go. First. How dare you? Was I supposed to have questions? You don't have to. All right. Questions. So, in that little thing, are those like Mr. Hitachi's ashes or something? What little thing? Yes. At the beginning of the movie. Yeah, that's what they said. It's his remains. Okay. Of like an emperor. All right. I didn't understand at first. Because she was like, oh, that Mr. Hitachi's a really small guy. Yeah, what an idiot she is. Oh, what yeah. Useless yeah, fucking yeah. stupid bitch. I was like, I was like, okay, clearly those are either ashes or just a statue. And I hope she's dead by the end of the film. <laughs> <laughs> she's dead by the second or the first. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, her end short round. They ate shit on the way back. Your first your first thought is like, man, I hope this this character doesn't stick around for the whole movie. Oh shit. No, that wasn't it. It was, I hope she's dead by the first, by the end oh, of this She's scene. dead in real life. No. <laughs> <laughs> Questions. Uh, what the hell happened to Short Round? He's fucking dead. You know? Yeah, he's gotta that be sucks. dead. It's my favorite. Short Round died on the way back to his home planet. Nice. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna ask one He's more. In, a, in a Uyghur labor camp <laughs> <laughs> he came back oh, as shit. a hindu <laughs> and they put him in in chinese jail Questions. why is this kid's name short round uh because of his cock okay <laughs> hey indy maybe don't be looking at that man yeah, that's a yeah. child He's like, man, wow, that's a pretty crazy chode. I'm going to call you short round. Okay. Okay, Indy. Is this how you name all your assistants? Yeah, you're not. You're nothing like thick long. <laughs> <laughs> you're nothing like left curve. <laughs> Lisa Lest cur- left curve Lopez, right? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> left eye, Robbie. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because her cock curved to the left. Nope. Okay. Hey, don't they all? Hey. <laughs> Mine's not long enough to curve. Wait. Questions. I do. I do. I ha- was wondering while I was watching it, and I didn't want to say it because it sounds like I, when I had the thought, it was so annoyed that it might be true that I was just like, don't even think about that. But do you think that they named her Willie as short for Wilhelm Scream? Because all she does throughout the movie yeah. is shriek. That's that's a good... If they did, clever, you know? Is it, is clever, it that clever or is it fucking annoying and dorky? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> And is it hey. is is my like thought that that might be what it is annoying and dorky or is that actually what they were going for? Well, there uh, is a Wilhelm scream in this in the there beginning, is. but that's all she does the entire time. Yeah, she does. That's pretty. It's much it. constant. It's scream and complain. They should have got caught watching the guy get his fucking heart ripped out because she's just sitting back there. Oh! Yeah, yeah. It's like, she <laughs> is. He's got to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's a bunch of Indian dudes, shirtless Indian dude being like, oh, what's up? Hey, yo, can you fucking cut it out? <laughs> yo, we are trying to sacrifice this dude. I think it's cool too. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> We're all scared, okay? <laughs> yeah, his heart caught on fire outside of his chest. This is God magic. Yeah. We Relax, don't know how bitch. it happens either. Who didn't flinch? The heart burst into flames in his hand. He didn't give a shit. Yeah, he was stoked on that. Yeah. All right. Anyway. All right. You got trivia? I got four trivia questions. Same. All right. Uh Andy, you go first and buzz in by saying your name. So just say Miguel if you know the answer. Yes, I'll so. go first then. That's what I told you to do. Okay. 
Now, I know you guys already know the answer to this. Good. But I'm going to answer. I'm, I'm going to ask it. Anyway. All right. The club at the beginning is Miguel. after a. <laughs> Miguel, yes. His club OB1. Uh, he's right. He's That's right. That's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's Blow a Chinese club. <laughs> hey, what god did the people in India pray to for help? Vishnu, Brahma, Shiva, Durga. Andy. Andy. Shiva. It is Shiva. Yeah. All right. What country is this movie banned in? India. Oh, Rob. Miguel. Yes. Oh, sorry. You got India. It. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> hey, finish this line. It seems the British never forgot the mutiny of... Oh, fuck. 1857, 1858, 1859, 1860. Why would you do that, dude? Because I'm a dick. Andy. Andy. 1859. Wrong. Miguel. 1858. Wrong. Fuck. Andy. <laughs> Andy. 1857. Right, yeah, it's 1857. Damn. Yeah. Okay. What was the original title of this movie? Indiana Jones and the Temple of Fire, Temple of Blood, Temple of Death, or Temple of Doom? Rob. Yes. Temple of Blood. Incorrect. Uh, blood Miguel, Temple of Fire. Incorrect. If it's so Temple got... of Doom, I'm going to drive down to Delaware and fight you. I understand. Uh, the, what's left is Temple of Death and Temple of Doom. Rob, Temple of Death. Correct. Right, thank God. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to get fought. <laughs> <laughs> During the thuggy ceremony, who are they celebrating? Kali Ra, Kali Shah, Kali Pa, Kali Ma. Andy. Kali uh-huh. Ma. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's Kali Ma, yeah. Yeah. I like I like fried Kali Ma. Nice. Very good. I Thank don't. You. I don't like seafood. Oh. My wife won't eat the ones with the legs. I'm like, give them to me. Give more than me. What? Yeah, you they know, the don't have legs, is, idiot. They're octopus. Oh, Robbie, Robbie, Call, Robbie, Robbie. Call Murray's octopus. Yeah. I've ne- yeah, I've always refused. There's rings. To eat it. There's rings, which are supposedly the suckers. And then there's little tiny octopus. Yeah, which are I guess are the babies. Which are supposed That's... to be little tiny octopuses. Yeah. That you eat whole. Yeah. I love that shit. Actually, oh. it, it is very tasty. Home yeah, is. love it. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of seafood either. Generally, I'm mortified at the fact that it's little baby octopi. But I like eating in animals' children, <laughs> and I like <laughs> uh, fried food. So. I don't like veal because it's too gamey. It's I've too, never had veal. I don't like it. I just don't like how it tastes. But the I don't know the fact that it's a full octopus, like organs and everything. I guess so. is it. You know, what kind of organs do they really have? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough about octopi to like argue with you, so. All right. This movie and what other movie responsible, I'm sorry, are responsible for the creation of the PG-13 rating? Those Temple of Doom and Gremlin? Oh, Spaceballs. No. Miguel, Spaceballs. No, it's not even a it's not no. even a choice. No. All right. Uh, Gremlins, Beverly Hills Cop, Sixteen Candles, or Dune. Rob. Yes. Dune. No. Fuck. Oh um God. what can you say the options again? Yes, Gremlins, Beverly Hills Cop, or Sixteen Candles. I guess Gremlins, because it was this year. Miguel, yes. Gremlins. Right. Gremlins, yeah. The, apparently uh People were like, this is too violent for PG, but it's not violent enough for R. So they made yeah. PG-13. They're like, yo, if you put this in a PG, thir- if you put this in a PG theater, then you're going to have a lot of white children in here with all these black guys who are suddenly into movies. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be like, why are you guys yelling? <laughs> I remember sorry, we- sorry, guys. I <laughs> drank too many beers. Are we done? <laughs> Do you guys want to turn this off? <laughs> thanks for guys thanks for having me no it's funny because as you said i literally just texted my partner and said can you bring up the vodka and a seltzer for me hell yeah i have more beer i'll i'll grab it right now 
You guys trying to get into other movies? What are you guys thinking about? What have you watched lately? Uh, we got... <laughs> Hold on, I got one more trivia. I got one more trivia. And then we got songs. Then we can post it as long as you want. I don't give a fuck. I got nowhere to yeah. be. Hell yeah, um, me neither. Yo, finish this line. When the rocks are brought together, the diamonds inside them will glow, shine, glitter, glimmer. Miguel, glow. It is glow, yeah. yeah. Andy. Andy? Glow. Yeah. Well done, dudes. Thanks, man. Thanks. No, thank you. Yo, thank you, guys. Yo, thank you. know what? <laughs> thank you. I wrote a song. But thank no you, shit. Both. Me too. Okay. Well, thank you, Rob. Let me, let me grab my other beers quick. Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, well I'm going to pause the recording that and grab my vodka and seltzer then. Perfect. What a smart idea. Leave Andy. it, leave it, yo, leave it recording. Just add this in on the audio. Just right. leave it in. All right, Andy, can, Andy, riff for like two minutes. Okay. All right, good boy. I'm just going to tell a story. You're a fucking dog. It's rude. All right, so, um, hmm. Okay, um, so I'm at work. And as as uh, you know, frequent listeners know, I'm a I'm a second grade teacher. And um, this kid, uh, he went to the bathroom. I have a bathroom in the room, and uh, he asked, "Can I go to the bathroom?" I said, "Yeah." And he goes, and I'm teaching my lesson, and I hear, uh, "Mr. J, so and so is peeing with the door open." I was like, "What?" I turn around, this kid's fucking with the door open i was like close the door and he was like huh so like, close the fucking door yeah what's up i just put a just put a little story in there for everybody you want to I know it's only audio, but do you want to at least listen to me feed my dog uh, hot sauce covered french fries? Sure. So what story did you tell Andy? Uh, just a story about a, a kid in my class uh, asked to go to the bathroom and then he, he, he peed with the door open. I was okay. like, stop, stop doing that. It's really not much of a story. You could So cut that's it. the video you sent me before. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't like that very much. I didn't like it either. Um, so I, I did have a note that I did not mention before that just kind of struck me. Okay. But now I need to find it. Hang on. Ah, uh, yes. At one point, Willie shouts, this can't be happening. That's also what most women say when Andy's inside of them. <laughs> very good. Thank very you. good. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. But I wrote a song about this movie. Joke's on you. I've never been inside a woman. So. Okay. Well. Uh, I'm so sorry. Nah, it's by choice. Oh, good. Ladies all the time come up to me. They're like, ooh, Andy, Andy, Andy. I'm like, no, thank you. Just the bros. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I wrote a song. Andy, did you write a song? I sure did. All right. Um, my pick is one-sided. There's the same thing on both sides, so I don't know what's the heads. Okay, I'm going to flip mine then. You all right. Ready? Flip it, yeah. What are you, Tails. What are you calling? Tails. I called Tails. I fucking called Tails. Tails it is, Robbie. I rigged it. How? I rigged it. Okay. Um, all right. So I'll, I'll go first. Okay. So my song, I think our song is about the same thing because my song is called Flaming Heart. Okay. And um, it's about how... <laughs> <laughs> why'd you why'd you do it on this podcast uh it just felt appropriate because the heart lit on fire no this uh i couldn't think of anything to write i had total writer's block for this song 
And so like you- midnight hour to last night, this is what I came up with uh, lyrically. So um, here it is. It's called Flaming Heart. Coming down, coming at me and short round Reach through the box and hit the goo If I die then it's on you I will slide under a door You'll be lowered into the earth's core We'll save all the child slaves And feed the crocs just what they crave You can open up my chest You can rip me apart Sacrifice my flaming heart You say I die chasing glory But I live to tell my story That kid's got a voodoo doll I'll take down this whole cabal Kids are working in the mines Skirting child labor fines Then again this is the 30s And that kid's back is sturdy Take a ride through the underground That was my song, Flaming Heart. I, I really like those uh, those harmonies. The mm-hmm. Flaming Heart holdouts. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I just I couldn't like think of a lot. bridge. I liked it. I also liked your keyboard solo. Thanks. Yeah, I, I just didn't... I, I did it, and I was like, I'm going to do a guitar. And then I did that, and I was like, I'm not going to play electric guitar. Did you oh, mute think... me, or did I mute myself? I muted you. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> just turn the song. Rude. <laughs> well, yeah. I thought, I was, I, thought uh, I was respectful during the song. You, you are. I just, I just, I just do it out of caution. All right, whatever, whatever, dude. <laughs> Seemed like he sure. wasn't muted. It's your fucking podcast. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. You're right. <laughs> no, uh, it, it actually you, that made it reminded me my my brother um was way more into music than I was, like making music when we were younger, especially. Um, but one of my favorite songs that he ever wrote that I just, I haven't thought about since we were like teenagers was, um, he wrote a song one time about the episode of SpongeBob where, uh, Plankton like makes a computer to teach him how to steal the Krabby Patty formula. And then he falls in love with the computer. Yes. His wife. Yeah. Okay. 
he wrote a song about that and it was the best song he ever wrote. And it was just like, <laughs> I need to find the secret. And, you know, I was just like, and, uh, you know, the find a piece of me. Well, I don't remember at all what it, the, it actually sounded like, but it was sick. And I actually just texted my brother being like, yeah, that was a good song. How old was he when he wrote this? I mean, must ask. Uh, I mean, 15. Okay, cool. I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I thought you were going to say like nine. No, 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 no. I mean, we were, I think in high school, both of us. He's only a year older than me. Okay. You know, it was like, it was when SpongeBob was on TV and he, it might have been a, a replay of an episode. I don't know. I don't remember, but it was good. That was also a good song. Good song, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Just tell me I'm good. I need my <laughs> validation. No, nah, it reminded because you were talking, you were like, oh, I had writer's block. I couldn't, you know, think of a good song. And then that was a good ass song to right. be a dumbass song about a uh maybe not even a very good movie. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, <laughs> the music was like whatever. The music hit, but I just couldn't think of lyrics. I was sitting here last night, like, like I couldn't think of any lyrics. I had the chorus. I was like, all right, the chorus is done. It was pretty good. It was all the parts of the movie that I talked about. Yeah. <laughs> Sure round saying there's no time for love fucking them getting smushed by the spikes and child all my slaves. favorite part yeah all my favorite parts of the movie <laughs> you can rip out my heart or whatever it was great good stuff dude i like it a lot thank you thank you all right now andy you go now, now. let's hear your stupid song you fucking idiot okay <laughs> <laughs> uh me, right. me again me, me again <laughs> i fucking dare you <laughs> i mean i will I'm gonna. I'll. I'll just mute myself, dude. Okay, that's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fine. Um, I'm gonna so, mute Andy. Oh, well, I'm trying to explain my fucking song, Robbie. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, I also had writer's block, and I did something that Robbie's been telling me to do for a while, and uh, it's my first kind of uh, journey into that, and it was a lot of work. So the rest of the song is essentially an instrumental. So uh, this song takes left turns this is the strangest song i've ever written in my life but all right it's called uh heart in his hand he's got a heart in his hand And he's the man with the plan. I'm with Short Round and we're in the car. I hope this dude doesn't get my heart out of my body and burn me alive. I don't want in this weird sacrifice. Barreling through all the cannon fodder. Protect this girl acting like a toddler. Spoiled as hell and annoying too. But she's pretty and she wants to screw. Short Round coming in clutch with the fire. Saving me from the villain's desire. Billy and Short Round, a man who was will. A cave, a temple, a cliff and a bridge. At least he's not hiding in a fridge. It's treasure and plenty of glory. That doesn't make any strong story. He's got a heart in his hand. And he's a man with a plan.
that's my uh fucking weird ass primus kind of sounding song oh yeah heart in his hand that was really good thanks that was, that was that's, really really good that was probably an even more accurate representation of the temple of doom is it exactly what was. i was saying about like the the point of exposition where it's like it's just all fight scenes now it's yeah. all action yeah I mean, it's just guitar solos. <laughs> it's yeah, like we got yeah. to the fucking the heart ripped out, and then it's just like, dude, he's fighting a fucking yeah, that, that, that big ass dude fighting a, fighting a big dude, and he's fighting a little dude. <laughs> and, on a now, and now they're on a bridge. Yeah. He <laughs> cut the fucking bridge. Yeah, yeah. they're it's, in a car uh, getting chased by water. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's sick. I, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, that was really good. You guys Thanks. are fucking talented. Thank That's you. so Thank annoying. You. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I find this movie and the last one too, they're really hard to write about because like, at least for me, because I always go for like the character arc and there's no character arcs in these movies. It's just like a f- rip snorting good time. I have no idea how to write about that. Yeah. So these are hard, yeah. but well, and I had, I had and these I think riffs. that that's, also the same thing that i'm saying yeah yeah there's no there's no development of characters there's no No, characters there's no story there's no movie it is just just like yo you're in china i don't know why yeah (laughs) guns now they have tommy guns (laughs) in china they poisoned him they flipped it around he had a gun now i have a gun now he actually shot you because i you forgot that he had a gun because someone yeah. popped champagne. Yeah. And they, yeah. they hid they hid the gunshot through a pop, like the yeah. champagne pops. And, yeah. and also, you know, I'm watching it on Amazon Prime on in HD, and the blood just comes out from behind the shirt. There's no hole in the shirt. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like, you know, there's some things that get exposed in the way that they're just like, yeah, I guess if the blood spreads, then they'll assume that there's a gunshot, right. you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. the guy's like doesn't realize he got shot. He's like, huh? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, this yeah. Is it. It's just, oh, I'm I'm internally combusting. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had those riffs laying around for a really long time, and they were always together in my mind for some reason, even though they're vastly different. So I smushed them in. Uh, it's Temple of Doom, you know. It was sick. Yeah. I like. Yeah, you. I, I thought it was fucking it. awesome. Thank you. I, I I think my point about my brother writing that song about the Krabby Patty formula is that like he had the song in his head and then you just grab whatever fucking idiot lyrics don't mean anything to you. It doesn't actually matter. And then you like turn it into something that is a song that like kind of was pushing out of your head because you needed it to. Yeah. Which that's, is that's this podcast. The way yeah i've noticed i tell andy and i tell my therapist this podcast reinforces that lyrics mean absolutely nothing in music <laughs> like See, I, unless unless that's all you have you know like there's some dudes it's just like well, all that's they all you have that's like poetry words right and then they went oh, i guess i'll play guitars like bob dylan right yeah. Yeah. Oh, i've got a fucking girlfriend who's a bitch she makes me think that maybe i'm gay <laughs> Sick oh, Bob Dylan impression, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think I want to suck your kind of on the fourth of July. <laughs> Watching all the fireworks in the sky. Uh, Maybe I'm gonna suck a guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Robbie, what are we doing next week? That's an excellent question. We're doing Indiana Jones. And, and the, the last, last crusade. crusade. Thank you. Okay, I, th- I thought you uh, thought you were gonna have a problem with it. I almost called it the Raiders of the Last Crusade. No, oh, Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Well, to be fair, they're going back to True. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> Giuseppe. As we you know, call our one true Lord. <laughs> well, that's it, it. Really, is now that I know that it's a prequel, it really is a progression of Indiana Jones losing his faith, losing his Christian Western faith by being possessed by the spirit of uh shiva yeah which is essentially essentially what the thing was when he like drank the blood and why he was able to i mean 
I mean, we didn't talk about it, but the fucking deus ex machina, the end of the fucking film is like they're both hanging off the bridge and he throws the stone at the guy and he says like a Indian prayer that makes the yeah, stone light on fire and burn the guy. He's <laughs> like, you, I, it's ultimate white savior. It's the sickest shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's what, <laughs> it's what we as Christians love. <laughs> we, we, we as, we as we? believers <laughs> We as, you know, the Western faith, believers in white Jesus. <laughs> well, you know, it's like Jews were the chosen people, but then now white people are. Yeah. yeah, Right. So you got Indiana Jones. He gets tricked by Shiva, by Vishnu, by, you know, the Indian people. The, he's, it's very confusing and terrifying what he's going through. And then he fucking he discovers the the law the Ark of the Covenant, much like Moses himself. And he goes, "Oh wait, this is right." But I'm not. I'm still not sure. I've got and you guys, you're gonna watch this. So I won't spoil it. But he has a whole thing with his dad. Yeah, you know? with his Scottish dad. Yeah, yeah. with yeah. his w- wife abusing father, most likely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. most yeah. certainly. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I, I how saw come the every picture of you and minutes. Mom, she has a black eye? I saw well, the Barbara son. Walters interview. <laughs> yeah. Well, son, I uh, I think it's okay. I oh, think son. you're supposed to give him a slap. Give him a nice slap. So, a slap? Like you carry them? You got to yep. slap them around? Them After you knock them the fuck out? Yeah. <laughs> and and in case you don't know, the, uh, the point... So, this was also okay. This was one thing. I don't think the stones of the chakras or whatever, that's full bullshit. Yeah. That's totally made up. Like with, with the well, Christian that's, that's ones, all religion. They went, well, no, no, no. They went Ark of the Covenant. That's supposedly a thing. And then they went uh, the fucking, the Goblet of Fire. What's it called? You know, no, let's go Goblet of Fire. I like you, it. You haven't seen it yet, but it's the Goblet of Fire. It's a Christian yeah, Goblet yeah, of Fire. It's a goblet. Why did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Goblet of Fire. Okay. I like the book. It's fun. Uh, I don't really Great remember book. The Actually, probably the best one. Probably the best book. Okay. Uh, no, that's wrong. It's Half-Blood Prince, but okay. Half-Blood Prince is the best book. I'm sorry. Uh, right. And then followed closely by Prisoner of Azkaban. But uh, the... I hated Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Wow. But the the... In the book, Goblet of Fire, it's such a roundabout, strange way of getting Harry to get to Voldemort, right? Why didn't the sure. guy pretending to be Mad-Eye, if he could touch anything and it would zap him to Voldemort? He could touch anything. They could make anything that portal thing, right? Why didn't he be like, oh, shit, I just dropped my, my pencil. Yo, Harry, grab that and zap. Boom. End of movie. <laughs> hey, Harry, pick up that, that pencil. Oh yeah, that's the view, baby. <laughs> but like, my, why are you wasting our time with this fucking convoluted bullshit? All right, here's a, here's my way that I look at J.K. Rowling books. I think she's really good at world building. She's really great at creating like descriptive, she, like alluring. She makes it up as she goes along. Dude, worst author of endings ever. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And and I mean, everything ends poorly. I mean, every TV show has the worst ending ever. I mean, one of my favorite shows ever was Lost, and that's got to be the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my life. But I didn't even read the seventh Harry Potter book because I knew it wasn't going to go the way that it needed to. Uh, it's actually pretty good. The way it should have gone is not Harry coming back to life because of some magic thing that we just found out about in the seventh book that didn't exist before. Right. What should have happened is he died and then fucking Neville killed him. And Neville was yeah. technically the chosen one the whole time. That would but have been cool. Harry yeah. Potter is. And it, the problem is because Harry Potter is Jesus, but he's also Jesus that comes back. But like he should have been Jesus that died like Gladiator, which is a perfect movie. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to Gladiator. The, yeah. the, I mean... the, the perfect main character dies. Like yeah. fucking yeah. Uh, Iron Man. Sorry if you haven't seen that yet. 
If you haven't got there, it's a yet. five-year-old movie. Fuck them. <laughs> I was talking to you. Oh no, I have. All right, cool. Uh, I'm a I'm a loser. I didn't know if there's them. I didn't know if we were still doing this. I thought I, I was just talking to you guys. Oh, we're still recording. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, well, you you do whatever edits you need to. I. But well, you, Rob, you wanna you want us to like uh, do the do wrap goodbyes? up and then and then we could we could keep talking. Yeah, I can always edit shit in. Right. If anything's really good, or we could also just shoot the shit. I don't care. All right. Well, if uh, I get drunk enough, I can't do goodbyes later. So if you want right. to, like, yeah, we'll do the goodbyes now. To do plugs. Yeah, right. uh, yeah Miguel, yeah. where's your Instagram? You got anything to plug? Like Kool Aid. I'm like Kool Aid on everything. L i k e k o o l a i d. Except on uh, TikTok, which I'm door court. Um, that's the sickest shit that I get to do. Is door court? Check it out sometime. I do it on Twitch. I do it on uh, YouTube now. Um, it's just I've I've tricked the the bros from doing open mics, doing comedy open mics to come do them on the internet where people can watch it and go, whoa, this sucks a lot. And then I read <laughs> out loud people being like, whoa, this this is really bad, and you're fat and you're a virgin. And then I read that to them. And then they stand there and they go, uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun it's so much fun for me and for you as a person on the internet because you get to just chat you just get, get to be like yo look at what a fucking tiny penis this guy has i can see it in your fucking jeans it's actually you have like a little bulge and it's making it clear to me why you hate women so much <laughs> and, and then i'll read that and then i'll see you say that and i'll read it out loud and then for whatever reason you'll feel like nice i'm funny too and the, the secret is none of us are. <laughs> I really like the descriptor. That sucks a lot. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> that so sucks like a Kool lot. So Twitch, twitch.tv slash like Kool-Aid. Check it out if you're interested. Robbie, where can we, uh, you know, let me do the mute. Let me, I'll do the music. I'll you do, do that, man. All right. You can find our music on Spotify. Spotify. Uh, I, uh, Apple Music. Apple Music. Uh, Deezer. Deezer. And uh, any other koala any, music? Sure, koala music. Wherever you get your music, uh, uh, we got two Plan albums. A, sure, uh, you got. We got two albums and a Christmas song. Check it out. Uh, also, for our podcast songs, you could go to theroids.bandcamp.com, and we got like over a million songs. I think over a hundred. That's almost a million. If We're you look at the sued. grand, We're like sued. grand the grand scheme of numbers immediate like hundred is kind of close to a million that we're, we're i'm i'm just the lawyer's calling me who the fuck is suing us robbie everyone fuck all right where where what about the socials there robbie? excellent question instagram at the underscore roids twitter and youtube at the roids band tiktok at the roids send us an email roids review at gmail.com r-o-y-d-s-r-e-v-u-e at gmail.com Leave a five-star review. Leave a five-star review. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Good night.